Hey, I'm Natalie and today I'm going to make a gluten-free and vegan hard crust. So the only difference really is that I'm going to substitute the egg with a flaxseed egg and then at the same time I'm going to use a vegan butter substitute. And if you are not vegan, just use an egg or use regular butter. get those big googly eyes and say oh ah oh, mmm mm. because they look very delicate the reality though is a tart is probably one of the most simplest recipe tart crust is a great beginner's recipe and you can't mess up too badly on it so if you haven't baked yet that's a good starting point and it is easy to convert a tart crust into a vegan gluten-free recipe the gluten-free part certainly was a bit tricky. I had to experiment a lot with different kind of flour combinations, but hey, you know me by now. I run a lot of experiments in this kitchen and just see what comes out of it. But after I got the recipe right, it was pretty straightforward from then on. And if you'd like to learn more about gluten-free baked deliciousness, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I have a book out. It is on Kindle Unlimited and it's called Gluten-Free Sugar Gasm. Here's my pre-mixed flour combination for a tart crust. I'm gonna quick mix up my flour combination just to make sure all the flours are well combined. And I'm gonna measure 300 grams. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna quick mix my flaxseed egg. I'm gonna measure one tablespoon of ground flaxseed meal. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of water. I'm gonna quick mix that up. I'm going to measure and cut into cubes 140 grams of butter or butter vegan substitute. I'm going to add the butter now to my flour combination. And with a fork, I'm going to start smashing the butter. You can also use a food processor for this process. I'm going to add now the flaxseed egg and you can see how the consistency is much thicker now. And that is because the flaxseed absorbs the water now. And then you can add up to half a cup of cold water. I'm going to start first with a quarter cup to see if I have enough water and then I tend to add more water depending on the consistency on the dough. So I need a teeny bit more water. That still feels pretty good. It's pretty solid. It doesn't crumble anymore but it's not too wet. And you can see how wet or dry a batter is depending how much of the dough sticks to your hand and you can see on my hand my hand is pretty clean, so, so it's a good consistency. I'm going to let the dough rest now in the fridge for about 30 minutes. And what I'm really looking for is for the dough to be a bit more chilled and that the butter or the vegan substitute hardened up again. And here's the tart dough. I'm going to roll out my tart crust between parchment paper, which you have seen me done many times in different recipes. Okay, here's my rolled out tart crust. It's probably like a quarter inch thick or half a centimeter. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll the dough onto my rolling pin. And here's my tart form. And very carefully, I'm going to unroll the tart dough into my tart form. Ideally, it covered the entire tart form. Unfortunately, I didn't do it perfectly, so I have to use some of my leftover doughs to fill in the rim of my tart form. But yeah, it happens. I don't really like tarts where the edges of the tart are very thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my fingertip and press into the edges of my tart crust to make sure that there is a sharp edge if you have a little bit too much tart dough and it goes over the edge, you can trim the edge using a sharp knife. And the only thing I have to do now is I have to poke the tart crust with a fork. Um, and you're gonna do that to release the air from the tart crust. What happens when you bake a tart crust, right? So you roll out your tart crust and it's flat on the bottom of your tart pan. 
You're putting it now in the hot oven, hot air forms, and the tart crust starts to move up and balloon up with the hot air rising, so it creates this small little dough. And it keeps on baking like that. Then you're gonna take your tart crust out, and then it just flattened, just like that, because the hot air just escaped. And because it's such a rapid collapse from the top to the bottom, your tart crust just broke. So to let the hot air escape, the few holes you're creating with your fork helps the hot air to escape. So I'm going to put it now in the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius and pre-bake the tart crust for about 10 to 15 minutes. You see it when it starts to get a little bit of a golden crust, that's the right time to take the tart crust out. So here's my finished pre-baked tart crust and I'm ready to add any kind of filling to it. I'm thinking though it's hot, it's summer and cherries would be lovely. So stay tuned, I may make a cherry tart next week. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye.